So what is filter? Filter is a Java class which is executed for each incoming request and outgoing response. It's a place in a code where we can put a logic that will be performed on the request before it reaches the Spring Framework and on the other side on the response before it reaches the client. Because of those reasons, it's a very popular place to put security checks such as authorization and authentication, implement login, and also put a centralized code which otherwise may have been duplicated in the different parts of the controller. Even though Spring makes a heavy use of the filters, it's worth noting that filter is a web servlet container concept. It can be applicable to any application that runs in a web container such as Tomcat, JBoss, or Undertow. To better understand where filter is placed relative to other Spring Framework elements, let us look at the following diagram. One of the common scenarios is when a client sends requests to a web server. So in Java, our web server most likely is going to be represented by a container such as Tomcat. Tomcat then is going to forward this request to a servlet for processing. In Spring, the main servlet is called Dispatcher Servlet. Dispatcher Servlet then will send this request to a controller with the help of handler mapping function for, uh, to execute some sort of a business logic. Once everything is done, a controller would send a response to the client. So a filter sits right in between a web container and dispatcher servlet. In fact, most of the time we're going to work with multiple filters. A collection of filters is called filter chain. In the real world, it's not that uncommon to see multiple filter chains. The last thing I want to say is that at any point in time, any filter can decide to block a request from following down the chain and return early with most likely some sort of an error. It probably will be unauthorized or forbidden. In the next video, we're going to implement our own filter based on the filter interface. So let's do it.